Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Divinity. Your gaze wanders over the solemn stone face that overlooks the shore. For the briefest of moments, it seems as if its eyes come alive and lock with yours. Guess that's not my statue. Hmm. Fair enough. Onward we go, friends. Very tough fight behind us. Wait a minute, is there a person up here? What is this? Oh, it's rats. Hello? Whoa! Yeah, let's just take all the stuff. This again. So that seemed like to be just a bunch of crafting materials. to make it. They're giving these grenades to the beast. Alright. That overlooks the pig camp. And now we got fire over here. Oh, is this the armory? This is the armory. Okay. Alright, so it's probably going to get real. There we go. Oh. There's more. One cartload of purging sticks for a pile of dead brothers. This better be Keep worth it sharp eye. We found some old ruins filled with fire and smoke. Someone seems to be fighting inside. We ought to investigate carefully. Yes, we should investigate carefully. Hmm. How much murdering does one seeker need? Let's go! Why the devil are the seekers here? I don't know. Why are the Seekers here? That seems really weird. Oh! What happened to you, buddy? What? Okay, I was about to be like, what's going on here? Why are you... St I will pay. Oh, don't say that, friend. That's not noise. That's also not nice. How dare you. I say again, how dare you, sir. We're gonna throw oil over here because we have two swordsmen that need to come this way. So we're gonna block them off and isolate this poor, poor fellow. That ricochet skill is really annoying. Walk through the fire. Oh. Well, I guess you found a way through then, didn't you? It's all right. We have allies that can be summoned through fire. I don't know why I like saying fire that way. Fire it sounds dramatic. Yeah, take that. Bathe in fire, you piece of sh Fire! I see you have the blitz attack. Oh, 
Guess I can't block you off with just, uh, with just fire, then, <laughs> can I? Not much else I can do, so let me tell you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to end my turn. Let's move one, because then we can hit, I think, mostly everybody. Boom. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Hmm. Well, don't you have a lot of bullshit? Now let's knock you down. So close. Ow. Actually, I don't think really any of us quite need that yet. Glory is mine. Very nice. Wait, some. Something is up there. I heard it. You sure you want to be up in uh, Ifan's face? He's kind of a killer. It's kind of what he does. It's his MO. Bye. You're right, Fane. You're right. You'll be good. Don't worry. Okay. Move up. A little bit of the shocking, actually, a little bit of the petrification. Petrofied, though. Nice. No one really needs healed. Beautiful, beautiful. What? Sucks being petrified, huh? Oh, no, no, no. Like we started that fight off right, teleporting that poor soul into their what would be their doom. I love that spell, it's so good. I mean, like the damage isn't amazing, but just repositioning people like that is so good. Um there appears to be some fire going on. Let's take the high ground, shall we? Except for you, beast. No, no. Let's go see what's happening over here. Give it up, Seeker. You can't escape.
Okay. Oh, this is blocked, actually. That's not a good line of sight at all. Hold on. <laughs> While this fight is happening, oh my god, I've already taken so much damage. Don't mind me, friends. Okay. Wait, what? How are these people out of sight? We're in some kind of smoke cloud. Got it. Cool. Now we may begin. Alright, so now we are holding up the front of this door. And we have some ally back here. Oh, that's Gareth! Okay, cool. Science. Oh, we can at least encourage everybody. And we got to hold this line here. Keep that puddle there. Eventually, we'll work through their shield. Let's uh, dodge. Crap, now I can't. Hmm. Alright, go back to where we were. Yeah! Miss! Rude! Also 
so rude. Jeez. Come on now. Oh. Oh, holy shit. Um. I feel almost bad for doing this. Like, it's a waste of our damage. It is, because we can just, like, go, like, bloop. So let's use it on someone else. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Interrupted, path is interrupted. Well, we just have a terrible spot, don't we? We can spontaneous combust you, but I don't know if that's gonna be good enough. Oh, there we go. Can we? It looked like we had a path there for a moment. There we go. I don't know, this will do more explosion damage, I guess. Hit him with that, then get blown up again. Oh my god, you have over 400 hit points? They are going to get destroyed by you. Get petrified. And then get shocked. And then, nothing. We have so much magical armor right now, like, we don't even need to move, really. Does anyone need healing besides Fane? Nah. The bloated corpse rises, it's on fire! And... And this is all we shall do. But you, my dear little friend. Come over here. It's a pretty close area. Four damage, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Jeez. That high ground damage. I love you, Fawn. You're my you're my best. You're my bestie. You and me together, forever. I'm gonna put a ring on it. Friendship ring. Uh meanwhile, you can ignite. That would probably kill you. Uh, kill both of them. Let's do it! Ah! Oh, wait. No, duh, because he's not burning. Because he's petrified. Well, that was silly of me. I don't do that. I don't even know why I did that. Well, there we go. Woo! I love your mustache. His eyes travel from your face to your feet, then back again. You're clearly no magister. Handsome face coated in dirt, haphazard garb. How'd you come to be here? What would he find say? Yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't lie. Name's Gareth. I'm a seeker. I can give you shelter and hope. A wise choice, sorcerer. I'll mark a safe place on your map. 
I mean, we've already been there. But... the horizon and then settle on yours. A moment passes. I can't stay. You shouldn't either. What did Lucian say? Ah, yes. Evil feasts on the indolent. Get yourself to safety and soon. You'll always have a place at the Seeker's table. All right. Coolio. Magical Elven Crossbow. Don't think we need it. Looks cool, but no. Mentor's Mantle. Uh... Hmm. Okay, what else are we getting that? Got a lot of money. This I think I wanted for you. What does the perseverance give us? Perseverance. Oh, it's right here. Restores five percent armor. Restores magic armor after you recover from frozen or stunned, and restores physical armor after knockdown or petrified. I see. Um, no, that's where we can do this one. There we go. Is that going to be better for? Oh, you. Yeah. There we go. There you go, Thane. I guess that's really it. Oh wait, this is the wrong backpack. Ah, whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll have to do two backpacks. All right, level up. What do we want to level up? Probably need some memory here. This turn. We do use your wand sometimes. Hmm. We already have three in that. All physical damage you deal. Let's try this. And then for us, keep doing summoning. Memory. Con. Crit chance. Huntsman. Dual wielding. Go. Have I not gotten a cool one-handed weapon for you in a while? I guess we haven't, have we? Okay, level seven. Let's attach every. Oh, this group's too far away. Okay. Well. Um, everyone, come down here. And let's explore this little area. Okay. What about the actual- Oh wait, there's another door. Right. I was like, where's the armory at? But there is a door below here. No, no, I wanted the heavy. That's what I wanted to do. Look, a 
large ship sits just offshore. Ah, so that is the Magister ship. Uh -huh, I see. I see, I see. Alright, guess we can go back down. Yeah. Alright, and so then there is a door down here. This must be where the armory is. We can go through here. Oh, shit. There's a shrieker right there. But they're facing the other way. And I doubt they can move, right? Shriekers make my blood run cold. Nope. Don't let it see you. Nope. I thought we could maybe hit in the back and it couldn't do anything. Not the case. Not the case at all. Major sort of sang. Oh god, we have cursed territory. In the flickering torchlight, you see a magister lying muttering on the ground. As you approach, he turns with a jerk. No, stay back. Not another step closer if you want to live. Doesn't look like he's in a position to kill anyone. Kill? Have you lost your senses? I'm <coughs> I'm not here to kill. I'm mm. here to die. Dark magic protects that door. If you're smart, you'll leave. You'll run. Otherwise... The Magister nods towards his hand, and you see the skin is midnight black. It seems to undulate, as if worms were squirming through his flesh. He grimaces and tucks it underneath his arm, squeezing it tight. What happened? He nods towards the bodies of the dead Magisters, twisted in the thorned blood. Same as those poor souls. We finished clearing out this blasted room and wanted... <coughs> wanted to move on to the next. As soon as they touched that switch, they... They were screaming. Some void curse. Dallas warned us to take care, but I... We never thought... Never knew we... And why were you here? Excavations. Digging out old weapons. More... Uh, Oh, more purging ones. Enough to turn the tide against Source. We thought it'd be simple. But Void Woken. Undead. Seekers. And now this. We were doomed from the start. Dallas must have known. Must have known what? I don't know. Something powerful. We thought it might help, but whatever it is, the Void itself is fighting to protect it. Dallas told us to be careful, but, but this is wrong. It's evil. Death. Is there anything that can cure this? He looks up at you, his eyes staring deep into yours. I saw how they died. I heard them screaming. I, I don't want to go like that. I don't want to face that. Please. I can't lift my sword. I can't. I can't do it myself. I'll do what I can. He lowers his eyes to stare at his black, squirming hand. <laughs> Just make it quick. No reason to make him suffer, I guess. Farewell, soldier. What do you have on you? So when they touch the switch, bad things happen. So clearly we should touch the switch, right? A source fountain? This puddle, it glows. What could this mean? Beautiful. 
Very nice. Can we just keep this? Can we lift this? Can you lift this? No. Man, I want that everywhere. Hmm. Well. I don't think the Red Prince would willingly put his hand on this thing, seeing what it did to these other people. I don't think anyone in this party would. Hmm. I don't see anything else in here. So for that. His most venerated eminence, Bracchus Rex. The braziers are lit, except for this one. Maybe that's something. Okay. Yep. I mean, if I was just like playing, just normally without role playing or anything, sure, I'd, I'd touch the switch, but. Who the hell is going to touch that switch after seeing what it did to all those people? Like, oh, me. I'll do it. Like, no, you wouldn't. Even if I had assurances from somebody, like, no, don't worry. It won't hurt you. I would still be like, nope. Nope. The biggest nope ever. Now, there was another place we wanted to explore. Up here. More magisters. Who's there? Oh, oh, I can hear you, Captain. Is that you? No, it's not a captain. Captain, is that you? A young magister tenderly fingers two fresh gashes across his eyes and face. His fingertips hesitate over his closed eyelids. He's being blinded. At your approach, he spins to face you and readies his shield. Stop! Stop! Who, who goes there? Hmm. I like this, yeah. Or Magister Mortal. Mortal? I, I don't know any mortal. Tell me the truth. Who are you? Hmm. Memory? Say we were called in from an auxiliary unit to res rescue him. You ought to show you a little respect. Wow. I don't believe that for a second. You're a prisoner, aren't you? Hold oh, try. still. I need. He sidles blindly beside the cart, groping his way toward you. I think Van would laugh. I, I, I can't let you go. It's my job. It's why I'm here. You have no authority over. It over isn't me. about authority. I don't want to hurt you. I. I don't even want to keep you here. Don't you understand? You're so dangerous. It isn't your fault, but you are. If you leave this place, you could bring a Void Woken on your head at any time. He continues to grope toward you, his sword clenched tightly in his hand. He opens his eyes a fraction of an inch and winces, stumbling over a rock stuck in the mud. Hmm. I don't know if Fane would offer to help him. Take a step away and ask what happened. Uh, undead. They overturned the cart. Dragged us out. They... They wanted to rip us apart. Undead. Express your surprise. We beat them back. But... But they got Faray through the heart. Got me across the face. Landon went back to the fort to bring help. Why are you left behind? I have a job here. I might be injured, but I'm still a good guard. Now, hold still. He pulls a pair of shackles out of his bag and holds them out, open toward you. Tell him not to be ridiculous. He can't keep you here. You're dangerous. 
You hear? I need to protect people. I need to protect you. Step Please. away. Don't make this any harder. You're dangerous. I need to keep you safe. I need to keep everyone else safe. Have you seen a void woken? Have you? Tell me isn't responsible for you, you're leaving. I am one of the divine order. We're responsible for everyone. It's our job to keep you safe. By the authority of the divine order, I I command you, okay? Step away. Please. Please. Ugh. Oh, come here. Really, dude? You're blind. What in the f I was gonna let you go. Cause I don't wanna just kill some blind, defenseless dude. Like, even if you are a mag magister. Unless you're Dallas. Alright, man. Persistent. I guess. Why would you do that? Artifacts of a tyrant. Could've saw your family again, but you just had to attack me, didn't you? Damned fool. Alright, so what's the hard effects of a tyrant here? You have to turn to his secret comrades at the sanctuary, we should speak to him. Yep. So maybe, so that ring is one of the artifacts. I'm assuming. Hmm. Okay, so back this way would just lead us to this broken bridge and back into the vaults, okay. So let's go keep going this way. Yaro go. I'm just gonna remember that dude every time I see a Yaro flower. Mercy. Oh, what's up here? Such barbarism. What happened here? The Seeker's head twitches upwards as you approach. His eyes open a fraction. He struggles to focus his gaze upon you. A low moan escapes his cracked lips. His eyes close, and his head sags forward. 
the hell? You thought you'd already seen the full depths of Magister cruelty. I think he, he would say number three. There's nothing to be done. Let's keep moving. A blade through the heart would be a kindness to these lost souls. The merciful thing would be to hasten their journey to the Hall of Echoes. Let's go speak to this guy first. An old elf's pained gaze passes between the crucified. He seems on the brink of tears. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. You know these people? They're as good as my family. But I cannot heal them. I cannot heal them. So much pain. Might be best to put them out of their misery. But they're still inside. They're true souls. Uncorrupted. What? I feel them still. I see them still. Listen, I am a god and I'm telling you it's better to put them out of the misery. Yes. I know full well what they'll become. And I know full well they'd rather die a thousand deaths than be used in such ways. Oh, they're turning into shriekers. You must help them die. I can't. These people are so beloved. Stay away from shriekers if you want to live. I know not how much longer my friends here have. Mercy. I can't let them get more shriekers. I thought he would say something. Odd. I figured like doing something like that would um Peace be. Okay. Uh there's probably some kind of quest to save them or something, but at that time I think we would we would kill them. They're dead already. Oh. Oh, oh, Shrieker. I'll never get used to them. Wait a minute, can I? Don't let it see you. Can we just snipe this thing from up here? Oh, okay, I guess we can't. I mean, it does look like they have a, some kind of shield over them, so I guess they are protected. Okay. So that's another way into this area. It's back in here. Oh. It looks like these people ran into a magister encampment and were slaughtered for their troubles. Oh! <gasps> Is that the paladin that we met earlier? Where's that book? It's right there. A new recipe. I mean, they won't be needing that anymore. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, you have too much to carry. Holy crap. It's the first time he's been encumbered. We do have a lot of stuff. That's for sure. Oh, the uh, letter. Uh huh. And that goes down to the terrible place. Okay. Um, oh, uh, okay. Hello. Frozen ground in the middle of a swamp. What's going on? Well, it's chained. You all stay here. I am a god, after all. The dragon stares you down with flinty, intelligent eyes. He tries to speak, but his jaw is bound tightly by the same thick chains that shackled him to the pillars. Surely if we free the dragon it will reward us right a winter dragon what on earth is it doing chained up here? unreadable glyphs mantle this ancient pillar braided through thick iron wings source infused chains bind the dragon tightly surely i can't just hit it the Winter Dragon is invulnerable, it seems. Whoever captured it must want it alive. The dragon stares you down. The dragon stares. Don't worry, buddy. We're, mm. We're gonna free this dragon? It's gonna reward us. Surely it will reward us. Unreadable blip. Unreadable blip. Nope, nope. Trish trying to get close. Unreadable blip. Huh. The dragon rakes the earth with ice and Quakes from the impact knock you back. There we go, buddy. Now, uh... My thanks. Oh, actually you are nice. Okay, I was half expecting you to try and murder me. Don't worry. Let's, let's just gotta stick together. I'm, I'm basically a dragon too. The freed dragon looks sick and pale. As you approach, he stretches his tattered wings weakly and fixes his intense gaze upon you. Frozen tears glint in his eyes. Oh, wow. Can it really be? Is it one like you I must give thanks for unbinding my chains? Ages have passed since I saw your kind last. Red like the red of old. How you fill my heart with pity. Demand an explanation. What do you mean, the red of old? Some truths have lain in the grave too long. There, let them rest. Question me no further, for I have no answers to give. Best let me rest as well. Dead. Or so it seems. Dead but not entombed. My soul is bound to joyless obedience. Purged of my source by the wickedest of witches. I stand enthralled to her every whim. She has only to command and my traitorous body complies. Oh boy. Who would dare to train a dragon in body and mind? The witch Rudecker. I was in love with her once. For the smallest slight, really a trifle, she wielded a purging wand against me. 
enslaving me to her will. Now only my voice remains my own. How? Hello? I did not choose this. As I am quite sure, you did not choose any number of indignities in your own life. Least of all, your presence on this hellish isle. Why did she leave you here? She trekked far underground beneath a nearby tower seeking ingredients for her vile potions. I can feel her dark heart beating within my own even from here. I await her return, yet I would prefer to welcome death in the sight of her face again. Is there any way I could actually save you? You would help me. How ironic. But the task would not be an easy one. But Decker is a canny one. Cat to your mouse. Getting the power of a dragon behind me would be a pretty cool thing. She consumed all my source with a purging wand. So long as she holds it, she has absolute control over me. If you could retrieve it for me, I could be free again. Again, having a dragon owe you a favor is a pretty good thing. It's not like she overpowered him. She had to use a purging wand to get him. So it doesn't mean she's necessarily really powerful. And hell, I have a purging wand. Picks up at the local Walmart. I mean, they're not that hard to get. I'll retrieve it. You would have my gratitude. And whatever aid I can then offer to you. Is she in the Brachus Rex armory? She has to be. He said that she went underneath a tower near here, right? That has to be. Like, what other tower is. Oh, 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 no, it's not. Okay. All right, friends, no worries. I talked to this dragon. We're going to go save him because then they'll owe us a favor. That's how these things work. Just kind of looking around. It's just a witch. We've already killed Voidwoken. Like, how hard could this possibly be? We're the Red Prince. Are we going to go over here? What are we doing? Oh, we're just very slow. Come on. Or actually, you know what? This may be a good spot to um, end this episode. And then we'll go search for this witch in the next one. So thanks for watching, everybody. Oh, God. The cave is a damn skull. What is this? Warhammer? I'll see you all in the next episode, everybody. Take care.